St. Francis Xavier. December 3rd, we celebrate the feast day of St. Francis Xavier. He was born April 7th, 1506, and he died December 3rd, 1552. He only lived to be 46 years old. He was born in the country of Spain, in the castle of Xavier. He was gifted with a very keen intellect, quick mind. And uh, he ends up as a young man at the University of Paris, and he's with some companions. One was St. Ignatius Loyola. And St. Ignatius Loyola saw in him a man of great gifts, a man of great talents. And Ignatius wanted him to make the spiritual exercises. But Xavier resisted. So Ignatius quoted the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What would it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? After repeating these words several times, the words sunk into the heart of Xavier. He made the spiritual exercises with St. Ignatius. And these exercises changed, changed his life. He became one of the seven, first seven Jesuits, was ordained a priest, and worked with Ignatius, starting out in Rome, visiting hospitals, teaching catechism, doing as much good as he possibly could. He was a man of great apostolic zeal. The Pope desired that there be an extension of the church in the sense that he wanted to send priests from Europe to the Far East. And when the Jesuits were first founded, when they were founded, Ignatius had four vows, poverty, chastity, obedience, and obedience to the Pope as the fourth vow. So Ignatius, obeying the Pope, chose two of the first Jesuits to go to India. They got sick. Then he decided that he would ask his friend and companion, his secretary, was Francis Xavier, if he would go. He obeyed. The last words that Ignatius would say to his friend Xavier would be, Go set all on fire. So he embarked to the faraway country, India. While he was on the ship, he tried to catechize the, the sailors, talking to them about God. He arrives at India, where there had been the Portuguese who had arrived there years before, who at least were baptized Catholics, but had given into materialism. So he preaches and teaches. He lives the life of the poor, and his holiness, his preaching, his teaching, his love, his kindness results in many conversions. He baptized hundreds, even thousands. At the end of the day, he could barely lift up his arm because he baptized so many. His center was in Goa, India. And he was also called to be the ambassador the ambassador of Europe to the Far East. But even though he, would, he had converted so many in India, where he'd go from one city to the next, he learned languages, he would convert, he'd leave a catechist in one town and then go to the next. He wanted to go to Japan, and this he did too. But when he arrived to Japan, he was dressed in a very poor, poor shabby clothes, and the Japanese didn't like this. So he decided to don royal vestments and bring with him people that were dressed in royal vestments, and the Japanese liked this. So there in Japan, he converted many souls. But this occurred to him. If I go and I convert the Chinese, then they will convert the Japanese. 
So his desire then was to go to to uh, from Japan to China to preach the word of God to Chinese. But it was difficult to enter into mainland China. So he ends up in a small island called Sanchan, very sick with a fever. There he is overlooking the mainland of China. And he dies of fe fever and exhaustion. At his funeral, there's just four people present. But Francis Xavier died only at 46 years old. Pope St. Pius X called him the giant of the missions. Both Francis Xavier, as well as St. Therese Lachieux, they're the patron of the missions. So let's ask St. Francis, Saint, Saint Francis Xavier, beg him for a grace that we would be missionaries. And as St. Ignatius said to him, go set all on fire. May we also be filled with the Holy Spirit to also go set all on fire. To have a real hunger and thirst for what God hungers and thirsts for. That is the salvation of souls. Go set all on fire.